What is going on YouTube? This is Hoodie OD coming at you again with another video. Uh, so <clears throat> this video is basically going to be about accessories and echoes. Um, since they had this patch that came up, uh, increasing, I believe the echo count from 300 to 600 and accessories are still at a, a certain limit. I think it's like a hundred, um, accessories. Um, so basically i'm gonna try to try to guide you through even though i don't do I, I don't do guides um i'm gonna try to guide you through uh what echoes you should get rid of or what um accessories you should get rid of right before we do that i there's nothing really new about um wayfinder right now there's nothing really um but I know they do have dev tracker in the discord. So I'll try to bring that up real quick. Um, here we go. So here we go. Dev tracker, right? Dev tracker is a way for them to kind of communicate certain things that are, that are happening in the background, uh, which is great, right? So there is going to be a multi-craft feature coming up um so they're working on that tech which is great uh for things like bloomstones only though uh, do i care about that i mean yes spamming space every time for gloomstones is annoying yeah um what else drops in total player count i'm expecting not to expect a global phenom right out the gate i don't really care about any of this to be honest player count is important for sure but it is early access and the players that are playing now are usually the ones that are either trying to grind, trying to get their name noticed um, in the community or just loving the game in general, right? I personally, be honest, I do want my name to be noticed, but at the same time, I don't. And I don't really have a, a certain community. I don't really inner i don't really like talk to the community for for this you know, for wayfinder i don't really i'm not really in that community i watch the community but i'm not in it in it you know what i'm saying um but <clears throat> anyways uh that's pretty much it uh i can't think of anything else uh oh yeah sneak peek of sanja's overhaul uh block glitch will be fixed um yeah, that's pretty much it. I would say join the Discord if you want to see these dev trackers. These are really good, so you can kind of know what what they're thinking, what, what's on their mind sort of thing. Um, but anyways, if you want to skip past this part, skip past it. Skip past it and get to the echoes and the, the real content of this uh, video. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight that real quick. There's no really no updates for this week for Wayfinder. Um, the game had an update already it's just kind of it is what it is right now so <clears throat> first things first i'm not going to get to echoes first i'm going to go to accessories first why because accessories are important very important um certain accessories have certain stats um you know you, you certain certain stats come with a certain level and the certain power level of that accessory right and set bonuses what i really want you to look at before you sell your items obviously the value is important but also the rarity of the item which is rare epic uh, i think there's a the one that's uncommon or common or something um but really want to look at that okay uh because of the higher rarity the more value valuable it is but the really big thing you want to look at is the slots and echo capacity echo capacity i'll get into the echoes in a few minutes but this is important why is this important because echo slots if you notice echoes have a certain type right I believe the sword is attack uh there's one that's balance and cross cross is another one 
Rush or something like that. Rush will probably never see a slot for, but I hope they change that. It'd be really cool to see a certain accessory, a legendary accessory with a Rush slot on it. That'd be cool. Might, might happen, might not. Who knows? Anyways, <clears throat> what I'm trying to get at is that look at the slots and equip the ones that you like so they don't show up in this sell option right but definitely look at the slots if you want to be like a glass cannon type build you can do that in this game or if you want to be really really tanky you can do that too there's certain slots for those things mainly i would say my for, for what i think okay somebody else might say something else but guard slots guard plus balance are kind of the echoes that are for tanking for for hp for resilience for defense stuff like that right so <clears throat> pretty much look at the slots before you sell your items you can have the same accessory but it would have different slots on it like this one here so over orb of solar can't even talk orb of solar there's different slots like so i it's the same item it's the same item same stats but different slots so you need to know look at the slots look at the the echo slots figure that out okay definitely look at that <clears throat> But the stats are important too. Stats are important too. But echo slots are very, very important. Um, uh, so you can get the right build down, right? So go back here. Here's my echo slots right here. I could do a little bit better for my accessories, but that's fine. We're gonna go into echoes now. Um, echoes are important just as accessories are important. Um, there's certain echoes that you get the best website I can literally point you to. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I say this, maybe I don't say it enough, but there is a certain website that is really, really good for certain things like this. All right. And that is this one right here. And I'll post it below, but it's like the Wayfinder database. Okay. You want a certain echo, you want a certain ability, you need a certain type of echo, right? To put in that slot. This is the best site for you to go to. I cannot stress this enough. Okay. It shows the levels as well. So highest one 32. Kind of a spoiler. But <clears throat> it's, it's kind of a spoiler. But anyways. Um, this is the best website to go to if you're trying to build your character the way you want to build them, right? Or her, um, this is it. This is it. All right. You can look it up. You can see what type of echo it is, what it does, what it do. You know, it's perfect. So like I said, I'll leave the link below, but anyways, back to the, the real stuff here. Um, the echoes, right? There's an attack type. This is a guard, balance, cross, and rush. Rush. Let's start with rush. Rush will usually be uh like boss echoes. Echoes that only drop in hunts or, or boss. Bosses will only drop these echoes. But I mean actually let me scratch that. Not not all bosses well no bosses do drop echoes but there is other other things that do drop echoes as well certain events like this one equilibrium equal equilibrium whatever <laughs> equilibrium echo drops from, from a certain event that you have to do um inside of a dungeon um and it's not too hard to get this one but it's a different type of rush echo uh, that you can equip that grants you plus 30 stamina to your max stamina but so that's 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 kind of good i kind of wish it was like maybe 40 maybe 50 that's just me um 
and then the trish the can't talk trickster echo <laughs> is another echo that drops from uh a certain event in the dungeon which is the trickster uh, appearing in your dungeon and you kind of getting lucky with this one um the 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 effects of this is kind of like it's weird you know i wouldn't i don't know if i would use it or not i'm not sure yet it's kind of weird you know if you read it aggro's for enemies and apply zero to four debuff 25 percent chance randomly to your weapon power ability power resilience and or break power for 20 sec 20 seconds and it's a 20 second cooldown i mean that's not bad that is a 20 second cooldown and triggers by 25 percent 25 percent chance when dodging in combat it's not bad because the cooldown is 20 seconds <clears throat> but it aggros four enemies and applies the debuffs i might try it myself to be honest i might try this one i don't know i don't know yet about it but i might try it um but anyways uh these rush echoes you got to be careful with because um some of them cost a lot to put in a slot it costs a fucking ton dude you can tell from here you can sort it out echo capacity costs right 249 is a lot to take up that is a lot of to take up man um but some of them are very cheap it's the rarity that i believe lowers the cost um it's the rarity of the cost. like let's say uh this one here equilibrium is 146 that's a common right this is an uncommon 133 a rare even lower uh, 125 so you really want to look at you really want to get a purple one of these um the higher the rarity the better right it will lower the 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 cost to equip um but not only that um i mean i'll be trying to sneak in a little bit of a uh, stuff that devs need to do but they probably won't listen anyways <laughs> so okay the the other thing with this is that oh i didn't i'm finding stuff out myself okay i'm gonna be honest it also if you increase the rank it reduces the cost that i'm gonna be honest i did not know that i did not know that but they also should add power level to this and the reason why i say this they should add power level to this because these here i could i could take this off and increase my power rating by taking off one of the rush because they don't they don't give you any power rating so you get literally equip something else and increase your power rating from just doing that so you can get to 2500 you can do that all right all you need to do is just get rid of one of your rush echoes and you're fine you're there boom more stats you don't really have a, a perk or, or kind of a, a perk or something like that but do you need it or do you don't need it you know it's, it all depends on you it's, it's really up to you right but anyways anyways uh cross types uh cross types echoes you really want to look at the capacity and the rarity that's really what you want to look at with these echoes capacity and rarity right that's it right also if you get an echo that is that doesn't have a star or one rank on it that's a good thing save that have two of them save it because if you do save it you do save it right and it's only a uh, rank one echo right um or it doesn't have rank at all right you rank it up in the capacity of that accessory or the capacity that is on the sword or your character it will go past that limit right it will go past that limit as you rank it up in that slot now, if you rank it up outside of the slot while it wasn't equipped, you cannot equip that because it's past that limit. Does that make sense? <clears throat> so what you really want to do is save that echo that has no rank on it, equip it first and then rank it up. That's the best way to go about it. OK, but once you once you equip it or you uh, unquip it. Um, <laughs> 
want to get rid of it um just know that the max since the echo the echo capacity if you put another echo inside of that slot or that echo is like it has too much um it's too much for that echo capacity then you can't slot that back in so if you have a slotted rank it up then or have another echo that's one or one rank or no rank at all so you could rank it up while it's in that slot that's it hopefully hopefully that's that's an, uh, hopefully you can understand that but it's yes um i wish there was a better way for me to show you this um but it's uh, yeah it's kind of like a i gotta put this it's something that you kind of learn um I gotta put this. Mm, this will be a good show and tell, but yeah, <laughs> it's hard. So I don't really have anything that's over overboard yet, but I'm getting there. But if not, if you don't understand, I'll try to show you in a different video. Uh, if you need uh, a like a kind of a visual of what I'm trying to say, just let me know in the comments. Um, uh, I do stream on Kick. I do stream on Twitch. You can always come by during then. Usually I stream more on kick. So I would say stop, stop by the kick stream. Um, if not, if I'm on Twitch, which is just Saturdays, then you can stop by that stream and I can kind of show you what I was talking about. Um, but anyways, that'd be it for the video. I tried to make this as uh, informative as possible. Um, so you kind of get the, the understanding of uh, what you need to do exactly uh to create your own character create your own build right now is a good time to do all this stuff to learn all this stuff so why not do it you know anyways i'm done i'm out of here thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next peace